So if you've been watching my story with any degree of concentration, you'll know that I've been looking for a Fiesta ST for a, quite a while. I've been searching online daily for about two months. And um, we had the idea, my wife had the idea of looking further afield than the 100 mile radius we were looking at. And we found one in Washington that had all the stuff we wanted. It had the Recaro interiors, it was the right color, it had the navigation. Mm. Had it was the, even better. Yeah, it was, it was perfect. And then, just as we were looking at, you know, seeing if we can get that one shit here, one turned up a hundred, no, I don't know, an hour's journey away that was, you know, perfect as well. And we started speaking to the dealer. And then, while we we're trying to see what sort of deal we could get, you know, with finance and everything, we got a call from the local Ford dealer saying that they might have something. We hear you looking. We hear you looking for a car. I said, well, we found a car, so. So you've got to make me, a, <laughs> make me an offer I can refuse. So they're now looking through their inventory because apparently it's not all on their website, which is stupid. Why would you not have all the cars you have on your website so people that are looking can actually find it? That's You're not just going to turn up on the blind hope that maybe they've got the right car for you somewhere. Well, not so, everyone is as planned as you. So I told the place, you know, you, you've got, you know, you've got to move fast. You've got half an hour. Because, yeah. They've got, they, you know, they got half an hour to try and find, find this car. Otherwise we get a free pizza. Yeah, a <laughs> free pizza. Free car! That would be great. Awesome. So apparently the um, second Ford dealer didn't actually have a car and they're now trying to sell us the car from the first dealership. So um, we're uh, seeing what numbers they come up with before we decide what to do. But it's looking increasingly like tomorrow could be the day. So um, we'll, we'll see what happens. I'm getting my financial advice from Financial Advice Cat. She drives a hard bargain. Okay, so it's the next day now and the, the local dealership is um, trying to steal the, uh, the sow from the f further one away, but means saving us having to drive for two hours there and back. So we had to tell the first one that we weren't interested anymore and now the second one are gonna have to kind of secure the car. So we're kind of, a little bit worried because you know, if I don't let them have it, then we're kind of um, back to square one. But um, it does mean I'll be, we'll be getting the car this weekend. So we'll just have to see what happens uh, tomorrow and um, take it from there. So it's now about five days since we found the uh, Fiesta ST and the local dealer have finally persuaded the dealer an hour away to release it. So um, hopefully we'll have it in a few days. They've got to arrange some sort of um, swap deal where they swap that car because they've got to have a customer that wants it for something that these other guys want so but you know it's so it's, it's getting pretty close still pretty excited about it because i've been looking on this thing pretty aggressively now for like two months to finally find something that had all the options i wanted family found the perfect car and it's, it's like practically brand new it's a <clears throat> 2018 model year it's got all the stuff on it that i wanted so yeah i'm really excited about it so hopefully um maybe by the weekend we'll um we'll have fun you know, we'll have a Fiesta ST parked in the garage, so we'll see. Can't wait. So it's now the sixth day. The Fiesta ST is at the local dealership, and we're going to pick it up in the morning because they can't hold cars, even though we were the reason why they got it, got it there in the first place. So, um, so we have to rush over there in case we miss out on it. We're considering we've been, it's taken us two months to find it. I think um, I think it's worthwhile um, taking a couple of hours uh, off of work in the morning. So yeah, I'm pretty excited about it. <laughs> so um, it's going to be uh, a new experience going back to driving a manual after five years driving an automatic. So that'll be interesting. It'll be the first time driving a manual with the gear stick on the right side. So that'll be new. But we'll see how it goes. But pretty 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 excited. What are we doing? We're picking up my new car. Are you excited? I'm very excited. Yeah, what kind of car? It's a Fiesta ST, navigation, Recaros, everything I wanted. Yeah. After two months of looking for it. Very exciting. Finally found it. See it? I love it. What do you think? Good. Oh, that button? That's for opening the doors. Do you have a look inside? Can you open the door? Okay. Here we go. What's that in there? Is that your seat? My little seat. Do you 
climb in your new seat? Yeah. Do you like it? Yeah. Is it really nice? Mm-hmm. Does it smell good? Yeah. Wow. Okay, well, I'll, let's get home so you can have juice. What do you think, Alex? It's good. It's good. Do you like it? Mm-hmm. Do you like the seats? Oh, go, go. You've got to go and get some juice, huh? Yeah. Let's go. Black Alex, wheels. what do you think? Do you like the black wheels? I want the one. That part. There's the tire. Do you like it? Is it tire where we drive? Is it really good? Yeah. Can you give it a hug? Oh. Okay, let's go inside. <laughs>